Mastering the art of adjusting language and tone. Transitioning between formal and informal communication. Hello everyone. Welcome to another enlightening episode of our English language learning series. Today, we're going to focus on something crucial, something that often differentiates a good communicator from a great one. We're going to explore the world of adjusting language and tone in the context of transitioning between formal and informal communication. So, let's dive in. Understanding the difference between formal and informal communication is the first step in mastering the art of language and tone adjustment. Formal communication often takes place in professional settings or when we communicate with individuals we don't know very well. It follows strict rules of language, such as proper grammar and syntax, and maintains a polite and respectful tone. On the other hand, informal communication is more relaxed and happens between friends, family, and others we are close with. Slang, abbreviations, idioms, and colloquialisms are common in informal language. The tone can be casual and relaxed, reflecting the level of comfort between the communicators. Adjusting your language means altering the words, phrases, and grammatical constructions you use based on the situation and the person you're communicating with. When writing or speaking formally, you want to avoid slang and contractions, like can't or won't and instead use their full forms cannot will not try to use complete sentences and proper grammar for instance instead of saying want to grab a bite you might say would you like to have lunch in contrast informal communication allows for a much looser language structure you can use contractions slang and even some grammatical mistakes are acceptable because they often occur in everyday speech. Just as important as your word choice is the tone you use. In a formal setting, you want to keep a respectful, neutral, or professional tone. Avoid excessive emotion or familiarity. For example, instead of saying, Hey there, how's it going? You might say, Good afternoon. How are you today? In an informal setting, however, you can use a more personal, emotional, or even playful tone. Your communication can be more expressive and less restrained, reflecting a higher level of comfort and familiarity. Transitioning between formal and informal communication can seem tricky, but it becomes natural with practice. Pay attention to the context, the person you're communicating with, and adjust your language and tone accordingly. If you're unsure, it's always safer to err on the side of formality. Remember, effective communication is not just about what you say, but also how you say it. Knowing when and how to transition between formal and informal language is an essential skill that will help you communicate more effectively in a variety of situations. And that wraps up our session on adjusting language and tone, a key aspect of transitioning between formal and informal communication. We hope this video has been helpful and enlightening. Keep practicing, and soon, adjusting your language and tone based on your communication context will become second nature. Until our next video, happy learning!